Hello and welcome back. We are going to show you now the next part. So previously we've shown you the entire um, product of the robotic arm. We've shown you how to make the base. We're now going to show you how to make the frame. Now as you can see, the frame needs to be pretty solid because it's holding onto the robotic arm. So what we've done to make things a bit quicker is we've made the parts a little bit like Blue Peter style So. But what we've done to change it slightly is on this example here, there are two shapes that we've measured and marked out. Um, but we've actually duplicated and made four, which we're going to sandwich two together just to make it a bit stronger. So what you need for this part is you need to measure and mark out the bottom. So again, we've measured and marked out a square. Uh, we've measured to find the centre and we are going to pierce a hole there. That will allow that frame to sit and turn and rotate on the base. Now, as you can see from this model, we've actually added a stone just to um, stop it from falling over. So it has a little bit of weight there. But if you can come up with a better idea, please do. So we're gonna sandwich those together. Using a skewer, and pierce a hole in the middle. Sandwich the two together to make it a bit quicker, making sure my finger isn't behind there. And I do that. I'm going to glue those together using the glue gun. Okay, so that's, that's going to sit on there. what I didn't do. I didn't glue that in, did I? There we go. Move that there. So that's needing to move round, but what I'm going to do is put a bit of glue in that hole to fix that securely, but I'm not going to put too much, just enough to push into that hole. And I'm going to let that dry before I put that back on top because I want that to turn, I don't want it to stick on that base. So there's the bottom. And then you've got your two frames. So how we've measured these, same way, I've done this myself. I measured a rectangle and then measured in to create the shape here. But what I've done is found the centre by measuring and dividing. And I've made a mark at that point and that point for the two skewers. I've actually increased the height of this skewer here. Because if you look behind the... Um, syringe is actually touching the bottom so I'm trying to improve that a little bit. Move that around here. There we go. So I need to pierce holes. I'm going to sandwich these together, all of them. Take the skewer again. I'm going to pierce a hole all the way through. And it's important that you align these properly before you do that so that the hole goes straight all the way through. There we go, and the same in this one. And then be really careful not to impale your hand pushing that through there. There we go. Do that again to now this is quite dangerous so I wouldn't advise it. Maybe grab some scrap card do it that way. Okay, so pop the skewer down. What you're going to do now is you're going to stick those here and here. So before I stick them together I'm just going to sandwich the two together and hopefully Because it's low mount, it does dry very quickly, so it's really good for prototyping, which we're doing now. Because if you were in, in any industry, in design and engineering, before you make the final product, you would make a series of prototypes um, to make sure it works. So, okay, 
So now I've sandwiched those together, I'm going to stick that there and there. Those should align. Okay. I'm putting glue along that edge and then I'm placing it here and I'm holding it. Now, the stability of that is not going to be completely strong. So as you can see, I've created some triangles to stabilise and reinforce that there. So I'll let that dry slightly and then I'll add glue on the edges of these triangles. There it goes. Like so. to reinforce. So you'll notice from this example I've made here, change the sizes and that's what I'd encourage you to do. Make a product, evaluate it, improve it. It is known as iteration. So this is my second iteration. In fact, I lie, this is my third. I did make another one before that. So, do not be disheartened if it doesn't work at first. Okay, there we go. So that is going to sit on there now, now that's dry. And that is going to rotate. So that is a bit more solid than this example here. So hopefully that will do the trick. And what you then need to do is feed a skewer through the holes. And it needs to be long enough to protrude either side, probably about 10 millimetres. So, and then that's frame made up. So do the same this side. And you notice I've used the flat end so I don't impale my hand. Okay, there you go. All right. Now, that's not perfect, actually. And that's probably because I've uh, tried to take a shortcut and use that one edge to protrude that hole. So what I should have done to make it precise is measured it and marked it on each one. So what I would suggest you do with everything that you manufacture is carry out a quality control step. That's known as QC in engineering, quality control. I clearly needed to measure that, measure it again and check that. But it might not affect the function, so I'm going to roll with it for now. So, part two, the frame. Okay, so if you want to keep listening and you want to learn how to make the arm and how to get it moving with pneumatics, continue to listen. If you feel confident after this, great. Thank you for listening.